Hey Magic fans, it's Paul from uh, Let's Talk Magic, formerly the Orlando Magic UK. And here I am with uh, your Let's Talk Magic game day preview. And tonight's the night. Hey, the Orlando Magic start their season. We welcome the Houston Rockets into the 4.07. Um, it's the first classic night as the Magic celebrate their 35th anniversary. And that means the classic stars, it's the New Jersey and the uh, new classic court also. UK tip time is midnight, 7 p.m. for our friends in Orlando. To watch the game outside of the Orlando area, you are going to need an active league NBA League Pass subscription. So let's take a look at the Orlando Magic first. Uh, Magic preseason was a winning one. We went three and one. We uh, closed the preseason out with a 76-109 win over Flamengo of Brazil. That game's very different starting five to what we're going to see tonight. I'm absolutely sure of that. Every core player was given the night off. Uh, starting line was Anthony Black, Jet Howard, Goga Vitadze, Caleb Houston, and uh, Chuma Okeke. Um, listen. It was very different. Um, it was nice to see those guys get some minutes. Uh, Jet and Caleb both had some good stroke going on their three-point shooting. Anthony Black gave it his effort on defence. Got to be pleased with that. The, the star of the night, I suppose, was Trevelyan Queen, who led the team, scoring 24 points. His, effort in, his efforts in that game and throughout pre-season have seen him secure the final two-way contract that the Magic have. Um, Green has played 17 career NBA games with Houston and Indiana. Um, that decision unfortunately saw that Matt McClung, uh, Decorn Plowden and Brandon Williams were waived. Um, as to tonight, hey, let's expect this team to focus. It's, calling, it's on its calling card, defensive intensity. One-on-one -on -one isolation defence, hounding the ball handler. Active hands resulting in steals and deflection of passes is going to be the hallmark of this team. It's been the hallmark of pre-season. It's where the Magic want to be building success from defence. Our projected starting five uh, for Orlando is going to see a return to that core group. Point guard Markel Fultz, shooting guard Jalen Suggs, small forward Franz Wagner, we're going to go, obviously, with uh, the, the power forward as Paolo Banquero and centre Wendell Carter Jr. As to injuries, Kevon Harris is listed as out. He still has a sore left knee. And there is a question around Gary Harris, who has a left ab ab adductor strain. Not abductor, adductor strain. Uh, basically, it's part of the groin. We expect to see Cole Anthony... Jonathan Isaac, Joe Ingles and Mo Wagner as being the core members of uh, the squad coming off the bench. You can include Gary Harris in there if he does make it. However, at this point of the season, it is not unreasonable to expect to see other members come in and get a few minutes. Um, don't discount Anthony Black coming in and making his full NBA debut the same goes for Jet Howard more so with Anthony Black if Gary Harris does fail to uh, get the go ahead for tonight I think that um, you can expect to see some potential situational needs addressed uh, be it foul trouble be it a bit of fatigue as we build into the season still and um, or more hopefully a 30 point blowout where you don't need the stars on um, that could lead to seeing the likes of Chuma KK, Caleb Houston, Gogo Vitadze making a bit more of a cameo performance. Uh, we will see. But tonight is no easy game. The opponents have come in on some good form, it would appear, from pre-season. But let's start with what they've done during the summer first. The Houston Rockets. Last season, we all know that it was a struggle for them. They went 22-60, and 60, finished 14th in the West. There was an element of that that, yes, they were playing for that. They had a lot of work to do and they have gone about this summer trying to address those needs and they've got some depth in every position now. The new coach, first of all, big hire in Imiduku. Um, they have a strong young young core of great potential. Jalen Green, Alperen Sengun and Jabari Smith Jr. A couple of young players, Kenyon Martin Jr. and Kevin Porter Jr. have been moved on. Um, 
Houston, they went big, invested in their experience and adding more to their young core. Um, the big summer signing, Fred Van Vliet, three years uh, at $130 million. Clever, reliable guard, um, and he's addressed their need for a veteran experience and three-point shooting. Dylan Brooks, another hard-nosed player, four years at $80 million reportedly. If he can avoid being the PR disaster that he turned out to be ultimately in uh, Memphis, he's going to be a huge addition to this team. The experience is scoring, toughness, and he's willing to guard anybody on that court. Jeff Green coming in off of a championship year. Again, great experience. And uh, the voices that they're going to have in the locker room also, Victor Oladipo, Aaron Holiday, brought in for some more veteran know-how. Final acquisition that they picked up uh, came from Phoenix, back up at the centre position. Um, Jock Landale, the Australian, he's got international experience and played some good minutes in the uh, postseason for Phoenix last year. But looking back at preseason, they had a five game series um, of exhibition games and took four wins. Their victories came on ho at home court over Indiana taking road wins against the New Orleans Pelicans and the San Antonio Spurs. And then their only loss came also on the road against the Spurs. The Rockets closed pre-season with a home win, 104-110 over the Miami Heat. Um, each of tonight's projected starters played in excess of 30 minutes. Um, you're looking at Jalen Green and Fred, Va Fred Van Vliet, both scored 20 points in that game. Van Vliet also had six assists. Alperen Sengun finished with 16 points, 12 rebounds and 3 blocks. And that was a bit of a bounce back after what was said to be a poor performance in the loss against the San Antonio Spurs. Um, equally, you then have their bench came in and draft Eamon Thompson came in 19 points. As to tonight, you've got to expect NBA debuts from Thompson and Cam Whitmore. Uh, Cam was picked up in the draft and he was uh, a guy who was expected to be taken higher than he actually was, dropped well down the uh, pecking order. He, is, um, he was a projected top five pick and ended up going at 20. Cam, uh, sorry, Eamon Thompson, fourth pick, very, very high ceiling. They're going to be interesting to see and I would imagine that uh, they could both have contributions tonight. The projected starting five for... Houston. You're looking at Fred Van Vliet, Jalen Green, Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith Jr. and Alperen Sengun. Um, their absences, Victor Oladipo, uh, Terry Eason and Trevor Hudgens are all out. Head to head with the uh, Houston Rockets. Well, in 69 regular season games, the record stands at 31-38 to Houston. For the for four of the last five seasons, the 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 game has been, the series, sorry, has been split one each. Uh, last season, both teams won on the road. Um, these two teams have famously met once in the playoffs, but we don't need to talk about that. Final thought for tonight. Last season, yeah, we had, Magic had a disastrous start to the campaign and dropped the opening five games. Granted, four of those were on the road. However, the Magic do face a similar situation schedule wise this season also with this being the lone home game before we head out west for four games um, where we take on the um, what is it we've got the Jazz Portland and both LA teams and then when we come back home we have the Lakers again we have Dallas we have Atlanta and we have the Milwaukee Bucks there are no easy games in this opening stretch for Orlando so uh, to get a win tonight would be hugely, hugely beneficial to just carry some of that momentum that they picked up during pre-season into the regular season. What we want to see is this team having success. We want to be pushing to get into the playoffs. That's where the team have set themselves and we firmly believe that the Magic can do it. So if you've enjoyed this preview, please give it a thumbs up and go Magic!